Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brandi Shanae and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Um, and as you know from the previous previous videos, I just came back from my um, three, three day vacation in South Carolina. It was beautiful, but now I'm back into doing, like I said, unboxings and reading. I didn't read as much as I wanted to, which I'll just be honest, I didn't read at all. I pretty much took a break from reading due to the fact that I was enjoying uh, spending time with my family and friends. So I haven't read yet, but I'm back into the groove of reading. I might not get done with the books that I had on my TBR for this month, but I'll do my best. But today we're going to do unboxing from Owl Crate. I am subscribed to them and they are located in Canada, as I'm sure all of you know, I'm sure. And this, like I said, let's get to it. Nothing else to say. Let's see, see what's inside this box. Okay, and once I open this box, this is what it looks like. Yeah. And this is, I believe it's from Alcrate, and this says, oh, the theme is Ruthless Royals. I forgot what the theme was, but it's Ruthless Royals. Um, this is basically a the spoiler card. I'm not going to look at this. I want to be surprised. So let's see. I got all these, this stuff. I don't really care much for this stuff. It makes a mess, but my daughter loves to play with it, so I'll let her play with it. <laughs> okay, what I see so far is this, a little pouch that says Alcrate. Ooh, it says, may you always find beauty. Oh, and it's a mirror. Hey, you can see me. <laughs> this is cute. I like this a lot. There's that. Love this. This is awesome. And then it looks like we have little bookmarks right here. You have the Queen of Hearts, Maleficent, and the Evil Queen from Snow White. And then on the back, you have this, which I think they are so cute. They're really cute. Okay. And then it looks like it says a genuine agate. agate. Hopefully I'm saying that right comes in this little box and oh it's a ring it is a ring isn't this stunt this is really stunning I like this ring it's like bluish greenish color and it goes with the theme royals because you know royalty wears rings like this which is awesome I love it this is really cute I feel like royalty already but yes I love this and there's a cute little box that that has it with it so this is really cute definitely cute what else we got then we got this let's see what this is Ooh, this is what it looks like it says i like for things to happen stories to unfold and if i can't find a good enough story i make one by holly black i haven't read any of her books yet but i plan on reading i think she wrote cruel prince and then she's coming out with a second one i think so I'm, i need to read her books oh that's what it looks like inside and it says sharpen your blade harden your heart oh yeah because look has a little blade right here Oh, this is so cute. You can pretty much put anything in here, like jewelry or whatever. Oh, and it has something on the back, too. It says, I'm a mere mortal, and you are a prince of fairy. You have much to lose, and I have nothing from Holly Black as well. This is just really cute and stunning. I probably will put all my jewelry, like all my fandom jewelry in here. <laughs> so I think that's what I'll do with this. But it looks like a book, too, so that's really really interesting and I love it so like this is great out crate so far this is really great <laughs> and then I got a pin I don't know who this is by but it says this right there let me see what is the spoiler card well, let me just tell you about the pocket ring, the pocket mirror. It says, a mirrors and the concept of beauty play a huge role in the world of Orleans. We hope you enjoy the stunning exclusive pocket mirror inspired by the bells and designed by Katarina Book Designs. Hmm, okay, makes sense. Then the ring, it says, have your subjects kiss your royal, royal jewels when wearing this pretty gemstone ring from Geo Central. It's made out of genuine agate stone. And then for the, um, 
let me see and then for the magnetic bookmarks it says we wanted to pay homage to some of our favorite villainous queens with these fun magnetic bookmarks creative created exclusively by our friends at craft van clip these clip these pretty pretties onto your next read so that's nice and then for the book 10 it says good you survive within the fairy courts it says could you survive within the fairy courts Hide your treasures and keepsakes inside this beautiful exclusive book tin designed with love by Stella Bookish Art featuring artwork inspired by the Cruel Prince. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Uh -oh. It says the Royal Assassin Tea Towel exclusively from Alcrate. It's like a tapestry, but it's a towel. I don't want to. Okay. And it says um, she had often wished for adventure, for old spells and wicked kings. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Oh, this is pretty. This is, oh, I gotta hang this somewhere. This is just amazing and then it has all the constellations like the stars like as you can see like right here that's a beautiful i like this i think this is like one of my favorites out of this box so far and let's see what this one is from or who designed it it says it's no secret that catalina uh, stardithian has to navigate many ruthless royals throughout the throne of glass series Recreated this ex exclusive tea towel with little inklings designs inspired by this resilient kick butt character. Okay. All right. But then we have this card and it says, I wanted freedom in the same way I wanted my next breath. An unspoken but constant desire before she ignites Jody Meadows. Oh. Oh, and then it has this. So it shows before she ignites the first book and then it shows the second book as she ascends. And that comes out September 11th of this year. I haven't read the first book. I might do that, but I'm not sure. But this is also what it looks like. That's really pretty. And now to the nitty gritty. And I, could, I sort of figured I knew what the book was about, but or what the book was. But I just had to. I had to get it. And the book is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. Oh, I actually like this cover a lot better than the original. Like a lot, like, cause this is what the original cover looked like. I love this. Like, oh my gosh. It's like a rose or whatever. It's really beautiful. It's like really beautiful. And of course it is signed by her. And let's see what it looks like naked. And it has that and it's black so this is really stunning i really love this it says she balanced on a precipice as wind blown and perilous as a real cliff there was a difference between defiance and outright rebellion could she do this could she jump over the ledge maybe not for herself but for her sister yes oh my gosh this is amazing uh, I've heard a lot of good things. I had a lot of mixed reviews about Grace, Grace and Fury, but I'm going to head and see for myself when I read it, and I'm really excited to read it. And the cover is amazing! But yes, that's my son in the background, so sorry. But yes, this is the book, and I'm super excited to read it, and it's beautiful. Love the cover. And the spine is cute, beautiful too. Love it. And then we have this card that I told that I told you about. It says, "We are not flowers. We are concrete and barbed wire. We are iron." And this is from Tracy Banghart, which is the letter. It says, "Dear Outcrate Reader, the patriarchal world of uh, Feridra and Grace and Fury is fictional, of course, but it's also rooted in a reality that many of us deal with in subtle and not so subtle ways." So much of our world is structured to limit a woman's opportunities, education, and independence. Many, it's not a surprise that these restraints have been on my mind a lot lately. But one thing that keeps giving me hope is how much women can accomplish when we work together, especially when we're angry. <laughs> like Nomi, 
I believe it's possible to dismantle the patriarchy and give women an equal seat at the table. We just have to stand up for each other in all our fury and grace. Happy reading, Tracy. So true. Us women do need to stand together, and this is so true. I This was so great. Great letter. So great. And then we got a bookmark, like right here. And it says, she is in prison for a crime that isn't her own. And now she's about to fight to the death. And it's like a double-sided one of both, both of the sisters. And this one says, she hates everything about the graces and what they represent. And now she is one of them. So, yeah, I like this bookmark. And then here's the booklet that comes with it, of course. Which is interesting. I really like this. Has, it shows you about Tracy Banghart, gives you the comparisons of the original and the exclusive cover from Alcrate. It has a word finding thing right here, word search. It goes into detail what's in there. It talks about the August box photo challenge. And, and then it shows about the September theme, Masters of the Skies. Every September box will include an exclusive item from artist Kara Kozik. And she, I guess she had made this mug for them. So that's interesting. That's cool. I'm definitely going to have to, I'm definitely going to get that box. I can't wait for that one, actually. And then the theme for a September box is Master of Disguise. And I already told you pretty much what the sneak peek was. Which is going to be a mug, I'm thinking. I would think so since they're showing us a mug. So that's it guys. That was my Owl Crate unboxing. I'm so like happy with all of this. This was great. Like the bookmark, the book itself was amazing. And then you got the tapestry or towel, whatever you want to call it. That was beautiful. And then my other favorite was this mirror i haven't even read the bells but i think i'm going to it had mixed reviews but i'm going to do that anyway and just see for myself and this mirror was just gorgeous this was my favorite one too but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed unboxing this like amazing box from alcrate alcrate is amazing um if you guys like this video video give me a thumbs up also hit subscribe um also let me know what you thought of this unboxing or what you think about any of these items or you know if you have heard any of these designers or anything like that but please let me know thank you so much see ya